when you start to pay attention to all of the things that you have, when you start to pay attention to what makes you feel abundant, you'll end up having more. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Mind Thrive Thursdays. Today we're talking about scarcity mentality and how to shift to a more abundant mindset. This scarcity mentality is what plagues a lot of us creatives and artists. You know, we think that by receiving money for our work and our talent that we're actually selling ourselves and we're being inauthentic. Whether you're thinking, you know, I don't have enough money to part with or um, there's just not enough to go around or some of us might, you know, even think that money doesn't matter and we just kind of don't care about it. We're indifferent to money. What you say to yourself in your mind about money matters. In general, what you say in your mind, in the privacy of your own mind, matters because it's the way, it's it's what drives our behaviors and ultimately what will what will come to fruition in reality. It's the way that you will create your world. These things that we keep saying to ourselves, they ingrain in us as habits. It reinforces our thoughts about money. And so when that is reinforced, forced, it becomes a habit. It becomes a self-destructing habit. And so the way that we need to change this is to really think about how we can shift to an abundant mindset. And you know, when I say abundant, I don't mean I don't necessarily mean lots of money or being rich. We all have different meanings for what abundance is. True abundance really starts with appreciating what you have right now. So that is really the key to shifting from a scarcity mentality to an abundance mindset. Be grateful for what you have now. You know, start to notice the things around you. What is what is around you in your day-to-day life that you you appreciate? When you start to pay attention to all of the things that you have, when you start to pay attention to what makes you feel abundant, you'll end up having more. So I have two things that I recommend that will really help with this shift into abundance. So the first thing is to write down what you're grateful for every single night before you go to bed. So write down a list of 10 things before you go to bed that you're grateful for. Maybe it's something that happened that day, or maybe it's something that's in your room or maybe it's something that someone said to you that day the second thing is to pay attention to what you're saying to yourself when you part with money so particularly when you're paying your bills right sometimes a lot of us get this like ugh, feeling like oh bills I gotta pay my bills um, but in actuality think about what you're doing you're paying for a service that you use and that you feel is beneficial hopefully for example you know when I pay my phone bill I actually I, I think about how appreciative I am to have my phone to be able to use it to be able to do business through my phone so when I'm paying my phone bill I'll actually say Thank you so much for your service. You can even have your own money mantra. So every time you part with money, you can say this sentence in your mind. So this is something that I actually heard from Marie Forleo. She says anytime she parted parted with money, she would say, there's always more where that came from. So really start to enforce these habits, whether it's writing down 10 things you're grateful for every night, or whether it's changing the way that you talk to yourself when you part with money, or doing both. Both of these things will really help you shift from that scarcity mentality into an abundant mindset. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have your own rituals or habits that you have used to help you shift into that abundant mindset, please share them in the comments down below for everyone to see. All right, guys, well, if you found this video helpful, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. You can either let me know by liking this video or subscribing to the channel or sharing the video with someone who you think might benefit from it. All of that would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.